All right, so we're going to do 11.2 this way. Again, this way seems to be a little bit easier. I was hoping it would, it, the other way would be easier, but it wasn't. So we're going to do uh, multiplying rational expressions first. And the way you multiply fractions is you multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. So 6 times negative 12 is going to go on top, and that's, I mean, 6 times negative 2, and that's negative 12. And then across the bottom, a squared times a to the third, you add your exponents, and you get a to the fifth. And it does say state any excluded value. So you have to say what can A not be because it would make the bottom zero. So if A were zero, that's what would make the denominator zero. All right, B is a little bit more difficult. You're still going to multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. You're going to get X minus 7 times X minus 5 on top and you're going to get x times x plus 3. And you could multiply it out if you wanted to, but it's not necessary here. And for the denominator to be 0 here, x can't be 0. And over here, it, the denominator would be 0 if x were negative 3, so it can't be negative 3. <clears throat> okay, um, let's move on to example two. Sometimes you can make your life easier if you decide to factor it first. So if it looks difficult, the first thing I want you to do is try to factor. Now if you look at the top left, you can't factor that, so we're just going to rewrite it. Bottom left, you can pull out a seven, and you're left with x minus three. Top right, you can't do anything, so you're just going to leave it there. Bottom right, you can, that's a quadratic trinomial, so you're going to factor it into two parentheses. You can pause it if you want to think of it on your own, but for time's sake, I'm just going to keep moving. Since the signs are plus minus, my signs have to be plus minus, and the middle number's positive, so the bigger number's positive. So 5 and then 2 would work out for me. And then if you'll notice, I've got x plus 5 and x plus 5 will cancel. This 7 will cancel out of that 14, and I'm left with 2x. So up top, I'm left with 2x, and on bottom, I'm left with x minus 3, x minus 2. And it does not say to stay any excluded values, so you don't have to worry about it. All right, got it, number 2. Um, we want to multiply those. This is not actually a got it question, even though it says it. Uh, we're going to factor. So top left, we can't factor. We're going to leave 3x squared. Bottom left, we can't factor, so we're going to leave x plus 2. Top right, we can factor, and that's going to factor to x plus 2, x plus 1. Bottom right, I am left with x. So we'll find everything we can factor. This x plus 2 will cancel that x plus 2. These two x's won't cancel. That'll kill a kitten, remember? So we don't want to kill any kittens. So, But this x will cancel this x. So we will cancel that with one of those. And now all we're left with is 3x and x plus 1 in the top. In the bottom, we have 1, and we can put it over 1 if we want to, but you don't have to. So my answer is 3x and x plus 1. Okay, example 3. Um, this is when we don't have two fractions. In this case, we only have one fraction, and the other one's not a fraction. When that happens, I want you to just put it over 1, and that will solve that whole problem. And um, I'm just going to rewrite the whole thing as I factor. So the top left, I could not factor, so I just rewrote it. Bottom left, I can pull out a 3. So I'm going to pull out 3 and then m minus 2. Top right, or in this case, the only thing on the right, is I can factor that. So I'm going to do two sets of parentheses because it's a trinomial. And my signs have to be opposite. And they're going to subtract to give me 1. So how about 3 and 2? And then 1 on the bottom. So I see that m minus 2 will cancel with m minus 2. Now this 3 will not cancel with this 3 because it's 
in a this three is not a factor by itself. Um, if you cancel that, that's where you kill the kittens. Remember, so we're not going to kill any kittens. <clears throat> the that looks like all I have left factor. So up top, I'm going to be left with two. Oops, don't want that. I'm going to be left with two m plus five times m plus three over three. All right, so this is not a guided question, but you're welcome to pause it and try to do it on your own if you'd like. Um, what I want you to do is rewrite it, and as you rewrite it, I want you to factor. So for the top left, you can pull out a 2, and you're left with x minus 7. Bottom left, you can pull out a 2, and you're left with 2x minus 3. Top right's going to be a little more tricky. This has a first term of 6, which means you're going to have to do the MAC method. And MAC stands for multiply A and C. So you're going to actually get X squared minus 13X plus 36. And you want to factor that. So you're going to factor it just like normal. We're just going to have to remember to divide at the end. So we're going to get um, negative 9 and negative 4. Well, we multiplied by 6. So now we're going to have to divide by 6. And we're going to divide both of them. And we're going to reduce and then bottoms up. So that's going to be 3 halves, and it's going to turn into 2x minus 3. Actually, let me show you this way. 9, 6 reduces to 3 halves. So we're going to rewrite it as 3 halves. And then the 4, 6 reduces to 2 thirds. So we're going to rewrite it as 2 thirds. So... Bottoms up, takes the denominator and puts it in front of the variable. I'm going to have 2x minus 3 times 3x minus 2. And then 1 in the bottom because there was not a not a denominator. And now I have common factors, so this is going to cancel this. And the 2s are going to cancel over here. And I'm left with x minus 7 times... 3x minus 2 in the top, and that's it. All right, now we're going to get into dividing. So when I divide um, fractions, I keep, change, flip. I'm sure you remember that from elementary school. So what that means is you're going to K, C, F, keep, change, flip. You're going to keep the first fraction. And I'm not going to factor yet. I'm just going to work on getting you to remember how to do this right now. So we're just going to change division to multiplication and flip the second fraction. So that's going to be x squared plus 9x plus 14 over x minus 5. Now that I've turned it into a multiplication problem, I'm just going to treat it like I would have before. And I'm going to factor, rewrite it and factor. So up top on the top left, we're going to factor that into x minus 5x plus 5 because it's a difference of two squares. Bottom left, I can pull out a 4, and I'm left with x plus 7. Top right is a trinomial, so I'm going to ask myself what multiplies to give me 14, but adds to give me 9. That's going to be 7 and 2. Bottom right, I can't do anything, so I'm just going to leave it x minus 5. Now cancel everywhere you can. You've got an x plus 7. That'll cancel with an x plus 7. Also, remember, you can only cancel the bottom with the top. x minus 5 will cancel the x minus 5. And up top, I'm left with x plus 5, x plus 2. On bottom, I'm left with 4. All right, here's a got it question. I'm going to let you work on this one on your own. If you'll pause it and try to do the question and see if you can get it right, and then start it up in a second, and I'll give you the answer. Okay, the answer you should have gotten is 1 over y. Um, same thing here as we did before. Now we don't have two fractions, but what I want you to do is turn it into two fractions. So we're going to put that over 1. Now we're going to rewrite it. We're going to keep change flips. We're going to keep the first fraction just like it is. Change the sign of multiplication and flip the second fraction. So instead of 
x squared minus 3x minus 4 over 1. It's going to be 1 over x squared minus 3x minus 4. And now we want to factor. So top left, I see a 3 will come out. That's a GCF. And I also see an x. And that leaves me with x minus 4. Bottom left, I can't do anything. Top right, I can't do anything. Bottom right, I can do the... It's a quadratic trinomial, so I'm going to do x and x. They have to be different signs, and they have to, the bigger number has to be negative. So how about 4 and 1? Now, x minus 4 will cancel x minus 4. The x here will cancel the x here. And up top, I'm left with 3 times 1, which is 3. <coughs> and in the bottom, I'm left with 5, x plus 1. Again, I'm going to let you try this one on your own, so if you'll pause it and do it and see if you can get the right answer, I'll put it up there in just a second. Right, there's the right answer, z minus 1 over z squared plus 2. All right, final example, um, complex fractions. This looks like a big old mess, but what it really means, you know a fraction is just division, so what this really means is the top divided by the bottom. Don't let the fraction confuse you. So if it does confuse you, if you don't like looking at it, let's do it differently. Let's uh, rewrite it. So we're going to take the top, 1 over x minus 2, divided by the bottom, x plus 3 over x squared minus 4. Now keep change flip times x squared minus 4 over x plus 3. And now factor anything you can. So 1 over x minus 2 times x squared minus 4 is a difference of 2 squared, so it's going to be x minus 2, x plus 2. The x minus 2's cancel, and you're left with x plus 2 over x plus 3. See, it was not that bad. All right, same drill here. I'm going to let you try this one on your own. If you'll pause it and try it, I'll give you the right answer in just a second. Okay, so I'm going to work through it with you. Hopefully you've already tried it, though. I'm going to go ahead and flip. So I'm, not, I'm going to rewrite it and keep change flip at the same time. <clears throat> now I'm going to factor. So I can't factor the first fraction, but I can factor the second one. Q plus 4 cancels, the 2's cancel, and I'm left with 1 over, 1 over Q squared. And that's my answer. All right, you know the drill. If you need me, you can contact me. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. Make sure that you know this very, very well because you will have a homework quiz on it this week.